What's good creators? Welcome back to Monzon Media. Today we're going to look at layer masking in Pixlr. And this was requested by Crystalline Burn. Now once you import your image, you'll be brought into the workspace. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our layers palette here on the right, click on the layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate your image. Now while it's selected and you can tell it's selected with the handles active here, we want to head to the left and look for the scissor icon, which is your cutout and mask tool. We're going to click on that and it's going to reveal all these options at the top. You'll see that we have a few mask options. We have a shape mask, a magic mask, a draw mask, lasso mask, and a gradient mask. And we'll cover the basics on these but we're going to focus mostly on the draw mask. Now what we're going to do to this layer is go to adjustments and we're just going to hit auto black and white and make this black and white. The great thing about using mask is that you can basically hide or show what's on the top layer versus the bottom layer. For example, if we use the shape mask, we're going to switch to the circle mask. In the mode, click on remove from mask. So right now our active mask is black and white. Now what I'd like to do is show the color on the layer below here. If I make this hidden, you see that our color layer is at the bottom. So if I wanted to do say a shape mask and show the color in the circle, we can do that easily with a mask. If we select the magic masks, let's say we want to mask out the sky, we can select that and it's going to pick out the areas of the sky. Now obviously we would clean this up, but this is again just for demo purposes. The lasso mask is a free form selection. So if I draw a little area here, it's just going to select that area. And then lastly, we have our gradient mask. So if I were to bring this down, you see the color shows from bottom to top, leaving the black and white at the top, or I can do it the other way from down up and it shows the black and white only here and fades the color in. On to the draw mask. So we're gonna go ahead and click draw mask. And the way this works is that you basically paint the areas that you want to mask. So at the top, make sure that you're on remove mask. And simply all you really have to do is, um, I'm gonna increase my brush size here, is paint in the areas where you want to erase the mask. So I want the blue of the water to come through. I'm not gonna to be too exact here. And you see now that the color comes through. Now let's say I was a bit overzealous here and, and the mask started to bleed into the mountains here. All you have to do is go back to add to mask. I'm going to decrease my brush size here and then we're going to paint back in those areas and notice that it's a green color now and that's just telling you that you're adding that mask back to the selection so you can be very accurate with this and it's really as simple as that. So now I'm going to show you a quick example on how we can use masks in replacing the sky. Now I already have this sky picked out. Make sure you're on the arrange tool. Now to select all, we hit control A and we want to hit control C to copy. We're going to go back to our image and paste that image onto the scene. Now go back to the layers palette, hit the three dots for your settings, and we're going to bring the opacity down to, let's say about 70%. And then we're going to position the sky where the cloud is just above here. Now using our mask tool, we're going to delete these areas just under the mountain. Now as we brush over, we're applying the mask. You see how it's red. That tells us that we're applying the mask. And then now I would zoom in and use a smaller brush so that we can be just a little more accurate. You don't have to be absolutely perfect. We hide the top layer, there's the original sky, and we added the additional sky just to give it a bit more texture. And of course, we could bring the opacity up and really work in those edges 
to be a bit more accurate but I'm cheating a little bit here by you know using a lower opacity so that the sky in the original image blends with this one. I hope that helps you out Crystalline. If you have any more questions let me know in the comments below. Now make sure to stay tuned and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to go over some new Pixlr updates that came this year. In the meantime get out there hit record create and I'll see you when I see you.